What's going on people? Welcome to your 28th I think After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to begin talking about my favorite subject in After Effects and that's lights. Now lights is the thing that separates like amateur clips from professional video clips in After Effects. This is what makes the difference from making your video look okay or making it look awesome. So let's go ahead and enough of the small talk. Can't wait to get into this. Let's get started. I dragged a clip of me in here because let's get a good pick. Uh, there we go. Mm, mm, not bad, not bad. We'll go with that one right there. And in order to work with lights, we first need to work with the 3D image. So light can't affect 2D image. So if you want to convert this. 2D clip to 3D, go ahead and click this checkbox, and now we can use the lights. So go ahead and click layer, new, camera, and just, or excuse me, that was an or tutorial, layer, new, light, and just like the camera, as I was going to say, this gives you a whole new layer with its all new properties. And for this type of light, let's double click it, you have a bunch of different options. We're going to be working with spotlight since this is the easiest to learn with and a spotlight is exactly what you would think it's just like if you were holding a spotlight it has one source that's usually a cone shape that you can move anywhere around you want closer further away and it's um, represented by this cone in After Effects so you can see all the properties right here such as position um, point of interest again the point of interest is where you're aiming it just like this the position is where the where you would be holding it I guess and that's pretty much all there is to this um again the rotation probably you're going to be working with only Y rotation for now and but that's not what we're here to talk about you learn all about those with camera what we're here to talk about is the light options that are specific to only lights now again I told you spot is the one we're going to be working with in this tutorial in the next couple of tutorials I'll tell you guys what this means but spot is pretty much just a spotlight and what you would think of a light and intensity let's go ahead and get that light out so you can see it intensity is how bright your light is so a hundred percent is pretty bright you can go beyond a hundred to get like super mega br like tanning light lights or you can go under a hundred to get like oh my god my light bulbs almost dying I can barely see light but for right now let's leave this somewhere around 100 there we go the color of the light is exactly like you think of it right now we're having a nice dark green color but let's go ahead and change this to something like um, a nice orangish color and this should give us a nice warm um, orangish feeling again let's go ahead and increase the light and this just uh, brightens up the mood a bit let's go ahead and change that to a bit more yellow and bam look at that so again the colors color pretty pretty simple now the cone angle I'm gonna change this and I want you to take a look at it right here what this does is affects the shape or direction again if you have like um, something like four degrees it's gonna turn it into a laser pointer if you have um, something like above a hundred it's gonna turn it in just a huge light that goes in every direction so this is how you can well it pretty much cone angle can't say it better than that now the cone feather is a little bit different you see this where it kind of fades in fades out on the side what the cone feather does and again its default is 50 is it makes it fade in or have it be more precise and let me show you if you have it at zero this is going to give you a nice crisp edge and again this doesn't really look like a light at all but sometimes you want to achieve this effect when you're working with uh, After Effects. But a more natural would be something like close to 100 actually. Where light kind of fades in around the edges. But the def default's uh, 50 so that's where we're going to be talking with in the tutorials to come probably. But again I just wanted to go over in this tutorial. Um, these are defaults for the light options under here. And if you don't know how to get to them just go ahead and click that little light triangle. Again, make sure you're working with your layer in 3D. Watch what happens when I click this off 3D. It just turns back to normal because light can't work with anything but 3D. So if you're saying, all right, WTF is wrong with this, that means 
your 3D is not clicked. So again, these are your basic light options. If you want to move your light around physically, you either use this rotation or just go ahead and grab the point of interest. It's probably the easiest way. Or just go ahead and grab the light itself and move it around. But for now, that's it for this tutorial. Let me change this color. I just feel like um, give it a nice, oh yeah, this is going to be good. Oh yeah, that's what I was going for. But anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Those are your basics of light. In the next tutorial, I'm probably going to be showing you how to get like high quality um, lighting that they do in professional videos. But for now, just play around with light. It's the easiest way and best way you can learn on it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.